Our first alert storm team was tracking this thunderstorm from the early morning hours, but what exactly were they looking for? And how do these storms develop from a thunderstorm to a potentially deadly tornado? Our Sam Gabrielli breaks it all down. Well, this morning we had a line of thunderstorms that rumbled across western Kentucky and made its way over the Derby City and eventually across eastern areas of the region. And none of these storms did confirm report a tornado, but it is one of those deals where uh, tornado warnings were active because we had the right dynamics favorable in our environment for a couple of unseasonable tornadoes in the month of January. The reason why we dealt with the tornadoes across the area is the warmer than normal temperatures. This is actually the outlook for today when it came to about a week ago it was projecting that we were going to receive very warm air unseasonably warm air for this time of the year and warmer air holds more water vapor that's why we dealt with the amount of kind of activity in our atmosphere and energy available for those tornadoes to form now the deal is as well when you get the very cold air mass to the north Kentucky is in a very unique spot because we have a very warm air mass to the south cold air mass to the north. When those two combine, that's where you get the very active atmosphere and for those tornadoes to quickly form. And that's why with a warming climate, we're getting more extreme weather, especially in the winter months. So unfortunately, it looks like we are dealing with severe weather basically all year long these days, as opposed to more in the spring and summer months across much of the area.